In serial killer news. Oh no. Submitted by Me No Like. Me No Like. I kill cereal. Yeah, yeah. baby, you beat it up. Mm. No, I eat it up. Cereal. Mm, you eat it up. I eat the cereal up. <laughs> I thought that's what serial killers uh, were when I was a kid too. Uh, I was like, why, that why is this a big a kid. deal? <laughs> like, I eat Fruit Loops. Cereal. I was sad because I loved cereal growing up. You thought and you thought people were channel. shaking the fuck out of Honey Bunches of Oats? Like they were just getting rid of these cereals, and I'm like, why? I still love cereal. Me too. A U.S. Border Patrol agent confessed to murdering four women and abducting a fifth. What oh. the fuck, dude? Is he like, uh, he rapes and kills? <laughs> I'm not sure if raping was involved in any of these, but I do know that the majority of the victims were sex workers. Sounds oh like it. God. Sounds like Damn, it. Damn, talk about <clears throat> abuse of power. Damn, so they got hookers jumping the border and stuff? So this takes place in Loretto, Texas, and in that city there's an area where it's predominantly like drugs and sex trafficking and that's oh where no. he was picking these women up. Thanks for clearing that up, because when you said border patrol, I was wondering <laughs> if it was people that get sand on their boots or seawater on their boots. But now I know it's uniform. When I heard prostitute, I just thought like really hot, seductive Mexican girls climbing the fence in their bikinis Laredo's or something. Laredo's a border town, so it's, yeah. like, it's like just on this side of Texas. It's like TJ, but, I mean. Yeah. It's another? Yeah, it's another. Like I just see like a tunnel mm -hmm. and then like a bunch of hot Mexican girls just in little super dresses hot. just running like through. The Mexican weather girls? <laughs> yes, and I was like, damn, that Those happens? Those are not the type of girls that are prostitutes at the border. Those girls are on TV, not at the border. Yeah. You don't know if they have two jobs. <laughs> so this dude, he was a border patrol agent for the last 10 years. And like the span of just a few days, he killed four women. What the what? fuck? Is this next to El Paso? He lost it. No, He's not He's still on the geography, dude. <laughs> Move on, Joe. El Paso's like way far <clears throat> from it. Like, far. Because we were doing a road trip. And every time we went near to El Paso. Do you want to imagine it? Yeah, well, I got scared because I didn't have any type of preconceived feelings about El Paso. But then Jessica and her friends and everybody just so scared of El Paso. I'm like, why? I'm from LA. The cartel, <laughs> the cartel goes through there. Is that right above, what is it called, Juarez? Juarez. No, Juarez is in Mexico. Yeah, but you know, that's where a lot of the cartel goes through. It's called the Juarez cartel. Let's just look at a map later. So okay. This all happened between <laughs> September 3rd. That's, that's that great, I like Good that. idea. <laughs> <laughs> so this takes place between September 3rd through the 15th. <laughs> Stop making me laugh, I'm trying to report this shit. That's very funny. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, that's true. I will look at the map. <laughs> I ain't letting that shit go. We're gonna fucking GPS We're that motherfucker. We're gonna find out what's on the other side of El Paso. Oh my lord. <laughs> what is? Okay, no, so this is sad, guys. So it was three women and one transgender woman who were murdered. The fifth victim, she was kidnapped because this man did not let her out of his car, but then for some reason he pulled over to get gas and that's when she was able to escape, which I thought that was weird. I'm like, if you're trying to not to let her leave, why would you Stop. do that? But anyway. He Maybe he did, was like on empty. I ran out. So good thing he did that because she was able to get away. And, and that's how they found all this shit out? Yeah, because this man knew all these victims. Because that <gasps> woman, the fifth victim, she asked him like about one of her friends, which was the first woman he murdered. That's when he got upset. He pulled out a gun, put it <coughs> to her chest. He put it to her chest, and then I don't know what happened from there, but then he went to the gas station and she ran away. He was caught, thankfully, because she started running and she was asking for help. Everyone knew that he was a Border Patrol agent, too, by the way. Since this happened in such a short span of time, like, they're not sure if there's, like, so I'm many sure, other victims. Dude. Because I'm he was sure. picking up these women from that particular place, and maybe he thought, like, they wouldn't be missed or something. And then the even crazier thing about this was that one of the victims, two weeks before her death, she had a premonition that she was going to get shot in the head and that she was telling her mom, like, hey, and her sister too, she was like, hey, I had a dream, this is how I'm gonna die. Make sure you take care of my kids, cause she had two young kids. I'm gonna be dead in less than a month, oh only two God. weeks later. What? Yeah. She was so sure of it. Yeah, dude. because her mom filmed She her. should've never left Mexico. Oh, that's fucking crazy. She was already- She was in Laredo. Well, if I have a dream like that, I'm gonna do something to trick my fucking future. And that might be the reason why you died, because you didn't yeah, stick to the original right. routine. Oh shit, she it's right. It's the final destination, you never know. So it's like, no matter what, my dream's gonna happen? Yeah. Fuck. Well, no, no, then I'm gonna just stay yeah. in bed. 
and do this. That's probably why it happened. She was able to tell her mom like this, this is how I'm gonna die. And then the mom took a video of her saying that because she was like, what the fuck this is so weird. And Did it go like, viral? No way. No, it There's hasn't been released. It hasn't been released. Prove the cops, it. The cops have that video. Man, why did she stay alive? She would have been a great ass witch. Yeah. Or, or not a witch. Like um, an oracle. Yeah, yeah, like a fortune teller. A seer. Dude. A, a wizard, Harry. No, 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 no. It's psychic? a it's a psychic. psychic. No, it's not psychic. Another Tarot one. card reader. Uh, a fortune teller. Hermione. <laughs> Just random no, words. Another one. <laughs> Fucking a Nostradamus. We can look up. We can Google Probably. it later. We can Google it later. A prophet. 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 Look at the map. We'll Google it. Is it that one trans what? word? Trans. To like interdimensional people, they can communicate. I think it's like a, it starts with a T. Traveler. No. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Tarantula. <laughs> What that a sucks. fucking piece of shit, dude. I hope he goes to hell and rots. Wait, so what, what was he doing, though? He was, like, picking up these girls under the assumption that what, like... They're gonna, gonna fuck. Yeah, they're gonna fuck, right? No. no. Oh. Like, I don't know what sparked this, but he all of a sudden hated all sex work, all prostitutes. He wanted to eradicate... He got a world. fucking ST... I D. Oh yeah, he probably got herpes or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so like how did they know that he wanted to rid the world of like sex workers? Did he have some sort of manifesto or something? Like Well, they're saying that it was during interviews that he said that he disliked the sex trade and that that's when he wanted to eradicate the prostitutes because he has been... He's killing the wrong people. He should be killing the people that are like... Like the pimps? Yeah, into yeah. doing this work. That was stupid. It, it seemed like he kept killing these women because they were saying like you were the last person who was with this, the last victim or whatever, and then like that led oh, to like him he killing. Oh, like he was trying to hide his tracks. Yeah. Oh, he kept having to kill other women. Cover his tracks. Because he accidentally killed one prostitute. And then he had to kill another one. Oh, maybe. Was for a friend. Ooh, the plot thickens. Yeah. He accidentally and kills her sister one. sister came in and was like, where's my sister at? And he had to kill her. Bop, bop. And then she's yeah. like, I had a premonition. Bop, bop. I remember the one I was trying to say, clairvoyant. Oh! That's what I was trying to say. It is not what it takes. I thought it was trans. It does not start. No. I thought tarantula. I thought it was trans, <laughs> transvoyant. Transvoyant. But mm. clairvoyant. Damn, man, that's fucked up. You know, there's a lot of serial killers that uh, do go after prostitutes, though. Why? Yeah. There was a couple That's why of, that one woman, I forget her, Eileen something, the one that killed. Oh, the Monster, one? the one that made yeah. the movie Monster out of Oh, she pretended oh, to be a yeah. hooker? No, she was she a was. hooker. She oh. said that she kept getting beat and taken advantage and all this stuff, so then one time, like, she just turned on her jaw and started killing, and then apparently they're saying that she just liked killing at that point and just started killing all these Johns. As in, like, every, every single, like, client that, like, hit mm -hmm. her up, she's just like, well, I don't know every single one, but she just started killing them, her clients. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we should make yeah. prostitution legal, only because to protect the yeah. workers, because they're going to do it anyway. Yeah. You could tax them too, right? Right, and then, but, but, the, but the main thing is that they can actually feel safe calling the police and saying like, this motherfucker beat my ass. Yeah. Like there's, I think there was a law passed recently where like online, like the sex workers can't post their like ads or whatever too. So it's like getting pushed more into the streets, but even that law like kept them from having their little like John Blacklist um, like website where like they could say like this guy was dangerous like oh, man. don't take calls from this it's guy like, like an Uber for websites, John's. Yeah, those websites are getting wiped out because yeah. of like new laws, so they're even more fucked now. Maybe the politicians that are in charge of those laws are the ones that are doing that shit to the prostitutes and they don't want to get caught. So they're like, fuck this. So they're Spiracy. pimps. Politician pimp. Oh but luckily he's God. been caught now. Yeah. Oh God, fuck this. I Death wonder how many. He's, he's in Texas, so I hope he gets the fucking gas oh, yeah. or whatever, injection, whatever they do down there. He already has to wear that ugly ass outfit too. Yeah. And it's the old school, like black and white one too. Yeah, that, that looks like. Stripey stripes. Oh, oh brother, wear out that yeah. old costume. <laughs> like, that full of he has to uh, walk around with the bowling ball attached to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On chain. Yeah. <laughs> or he's gonna like dig it his way out with a spoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is he Mexican? To... <laughs> yeah, no Shay. He looks I like it. Myself out, Shay. <laughs> the nail file. Is he Mexican? Yeah. His name is John or <laughs> The nail file. <laughs> there's the any. <laughs> That's thing. His girlfriend comes in with a fucking cake. You with a little it. nail filer inside. His name is Juan. Juan David Ortiz, that's his name. Damn. Fuck him. What is my, uh, my buddy works uh, at the court system, and um, he was saying, like, gangs are so sophisticated in the way that they get drugs and things into the system 
and one of these gang bosses daughters would come in looking really hot mini skirt low cut dress and she would always be offering like free food to the guys every time she comes to visit and then you know he would always refuse it and say like oh no thanks i don't want it but one of his other friend like his co-workers would take it all the time come to find out that was like a way in and then like they would have sexual relationships and all that stuff and then she would get drugs through the tacos to the jailer and then he would give it to like the gang members inside oh, shit. and then he got caught for that Dang. So they they find all these clever ways yeah. to bring like the power of the drugs pussy. inside. Yeah, they use their own family members. Like it's dangerous. Crazy.